coming for you. Those guys were on fire. Welcome to the 2008 National Championships pregame show. I'm Chris Puckett, joined by my boys D-Mac and Nexi, <laughs> the greatest in MLG expertise. And guys, we're going to be talking about the sickest event in MLG history. That's right. We're here in the Hard Rock Hotel Casino. We're in the balcony in the ultimate gaming house sponsored by Dr. Pepper. And guys, I couldn't be more excited. This is set to be the greatest event of all time. Yeah, this is Vegas, man. This is, these are the championships you play all season to get to this point, to get into that top eight, to compete for that $100,000. You know, I started off a little hard this weekend. I'm down a bunch of money. I'm actually broke right now, but I'm pumped for the tournament. The tournament's going to be incredible. I want to get it started right now. That's right. Well, Nexi and I, we're both about down 350 or so, but that's why we shouldn't gamble. Instead, we should focus on video games, and that's what we're doing for the rest of the weekend. Guys, we're here to party, and I'm pretty pumped because, you know what, 2008, it's been a record-breaking year for Major League Gaming. We had over 4 million people tune into our streams. We introduced the pregame show. We're looking pretty darn sweet in our suits, if you ask me, and you know what? We are set to have an amazing competition, but I want to know, what stood out to you guys the most in 2008, Nexi? Yeah, I'll kick it off. What impressed me the most is the level of competition that we've seen this year. We've seen Halo, we've seen all the games. Gears, Rainbow, WoW, everything that we've held ran at a, at a level that's beyond anything. The level of competition is insane. We've got many more competitors coming to our events, and because of that, we're seeing a lot more new faces. You got players like Snipedown, you got players like Hysteria. These are the best, they're in the top three Slayers in the league, and they've both won two events, and they're brand new. You've got new teams. You got Classic coming into their first event and getting second. Who does that? Getting second in their first event, that's insane. You also have teams like Ambush. They've upset the number one seed not once, but twice. So with all these new teams, all these new players, you're seeing new strategies. You're also seeing for the first time ever, the veterans, the Walshies, the T2s, branching out and picking up the new guys, actually accepting the new guys. Now the point I'm really trying to make here is with all the new teams, like I said, all the new strategies, Halo's being played at the top of the level, and it's anybody's tournament. Anyone can really win Vegas right now. You know, Nexi, I got to agree with you there. You know, I've been here for five seasons. I've been here for day, since day one with Major League Gaming, and I've never come into the final, the national championship event, and seen a higher level of competition. Exactly. We have eight teams here. You know what? I'll, I'll be honest. Six of those eight teams, in my mind, have a legit opportunity of taking that first place, $100,000 here in, in Vegas. And d -Mac, I know you want to talk a little bit as well. Well, I agree. The level of competition is an extremely important factor. But guys, let's face it. That's a result of the team changes. When we look at team changes, we've seen Neighbor go to FB, improve the final boss spot. We, go, we see Walsh go to Instinct, completely change the face of that of that team. Then we then we see straight ripping. We see them pick up snipe down. Huge move, they go and they win the next tournament. We see Karma being picked up by Triggers Down. The point is, all these changes are brought upon by chemistry issues. These teams didn't go well in the beginning of the season. They had to make changes along the road. Now they finally have their team set. They're here in Vegas and they're ready to go. Well, you know, in 2008, we've seen more team changes amongst the top eight teams than we ever have in history. Yeah. So guys, it's been a big year and I want to talk about those top eight teams. We're going to break down what's going on in the winner's bracket round one. That is going to be coming up right after this quick commercial break. <laughs> 